We got some really shocking news out of the college football world today as Texas announced that they have parted ways with head coach Tom Herman after four seasons. Even more shocking news is that they supposedly already have a replacement lined up with Alabama's offensive coordinator, Steve Sarkeesian. Before we get into today's news, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you never miss another college football video. So yeah, I was getting ready to uh, work and post on my new Heisman video for the week, but then I got the notification that Tom Herman is officially out at Texas, which again, uh, a lot of people thought it was going to be coming, but I myself thought he was going to be given at least another year. As a whole, Tom Herman went 32-18 and 18 during his four years at Texas, and he went 7-3 and three this past season. The Longhorns, they were fresh off a convincing bowl win over Colorado, making Herman an impressive 4-0 with Texas during bowl season. However, the program thought that it would make sense to go in a different direction. Athletic Director Chris Del Conte released this statement about the decision Texas made today. Decisions like this are very, very difficult and certainly not something I take lightly. As I've said before, my philosophy is to wait until the end of the season to look at all the factors in evaluating any of our programs. After much deliberation and a great deal of thought, as I looked back at the totality of where our football program is and in discussing its future, it became apparent that it was in the best interest of the University of Texas to move in a different direction. I'm grateful for all Coach Herman has done and the hard work and dedication he and his staff have put in on behalf of our program and student-athletes. I thank him for all of his efforts and his service to our institution, and I wish him the best in the future. Herman was pretty solid for Texas over the years, but he never got them over the hump. He wasn't able to lead them to the college football playoff, let alone just lead them to a Big 12 championship. During his time, he did lead Texas to the Big 12 title game, a Sugar Bowl championship, and 10 wins in 2018, but the program just couldn't get back to that level these past two seasons. He completely changed his coaching staff after 2019, replacing both coordinators and several other other assistants on the staff, but Texas missed out on the Big 12 title game in 2020. In addition, Herman also had seven losses as a ranked team to unranked teams, tied for the most in the FBS since 2017. He was also 9-10 against top 25 opponents, and most importantly, 1-4 against Oklahoma, Texas' biggest rival. The reason this comes as such shocking news is because just a few weeks ago, like literally the middle of December, Texas Athletic Director Chris Del Conte announced that Herman is going to be remaining as the head coach coach despite a football season that fell below expectations. There's been a lot of speculation about the future of our football coach. My policy is to wait until the end of the season before evaluating and commenting on our program and coaches. With the close of the regular season, I want to reiterate that Tom Herman is our coach. When I look at our football program right now, I see tremendous young men and promising talent. Our student athletes are developing and they play their hearts out. This has been an unprecedented year for all of us and we're all disappointed that we did meet our expectations. Like the many fans that follow and support our program, I can't help but think what could have been in 20. 20. There's still more work to be done, but I'm excited to watch our players and program moving forward. So yeah, just a few weeks ago, he was fully set on Herman coming back, and he believed in him moving forward with the program in 2021, and now, just a few weeks later, uh, yeah, he's completely changed his mind. So yeah, I'm not quite sure whether or not Tom Herman sent a drunk text message on New Year's Eve that ultimately got him canned, or Del Conde just for whatever reason had a complete change of heart. Because to do a complete 180 from comments you made just a few weeks ago to the comments you made today, don't make a whole lot of sense. So either he already had this decision made a couple weeks ago and he straight up lied when he made that statement, or again, something in the last few weeks happened that made him want to change his mind because, again, after watching that game against Colorado the other night, Texas looked pretty good and I thought Herman did a good job that game, so... I, I have no clue what went down the last few weeks in Texas. Back in November of 2016, Tom Herman was announced as the 30th head coach at Texas. At the time of the hire, he was widely considered to be one of the nation's hottest up-and-coming coaches in the country, even though he had only two years of head coaching experience previously at Houston. During his brief two-year stint with the Cougars, they went 22-4 and and were one of the best teams in all of college football. During that span, Houston beat six consecutive ranked teams, including number 9 Florida State in the Peach Bowl and number 3 Oklahoma in the 2016 opener. Tom Herman was a wide receiver at Cal Lutheran from 1993 to 1996, and he then became a graduate assistant at Texas under former coach Mack Brown in 1999. During his two seasons with the Longhorns from 1999 to 2000, Herman earned his master's degree. He then became a receivers and special teams coach at Sam Houston State in 2001. He worked at Texas State and Rice, and he then became Iowa State's offensive coordinator in 2009. Herman's career really took off when he became the offensive coordinator at Ohio State. With him in control of the offense, the Buckeyes won the 2014 National Championships and had one of the greatest three-game stretches we have seen from any offense in recent memory. Before his arrival at Houston, the Cougars ranked 60th nationally by 
scoring 29 points a game. Under Herman in 2015, the Cougars finished 10th in the country and were averaging 40 points a game. Then, he arrived at Texas, hoping to turn them around after three underwhelming years from Charlie Strong. In his first year, Texas went 7-6 and six and won the Texas Bowl, but it wasn't that much of an improvement. They went 1-4 and four against ranked teams. However, though, three of those losses were by a combined 11 points, so they really were on the verge of picking up some major wins that season. Texas bounced back nicely and won 10 games in 2018 and gave us Herman's best season with the Longhorns. After losing to begin the year, Texas rattled off six straight wins, including a thrilling win over rival Oklahoma, moving up to number six in the polls. They then lost back-to-back -back games, but they still were able to make it to the Big 12 title game and had a chance to win the Big 12 but they lost to Oklahoma by 12 points. However, they did receive an invite to the Sugar Bowl and they took down number six, Georgia. Then Sam Ellinger gave us this. We're back! Yeah, no, Sam, <laughs> not at all. However, though, it was an impressive year for Texas and it did look like they were gonna build on that and really improve in 2019 but they took a step back, winning only eight games. They were 4-1 to start the season, but then they lost to Oklahoma by a touchdown. Then, two weeks later, they lost to an unranked TCU team. Then, they lost to an unranked Iowa State team. Then, they lost to Baylor. They ended the season on a high note, though, by beating number 12 Utah by 28 points in the Alamo Bowl. However, though, it still was a disappointing season as they finished 8-5. Herman was back in 2020, and Texas finished 7-3. They climbed up to number 9 in their early season rankings, but then lost to TCU by 2, and then lost to Oklahoma in an overtime thriller. They won 3 in a row, but then they lost in the final minute to Iowa State at home. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, the Longhorns just capped off their season with a very impressive 30-point win over Colorado in the Alamo Bowl. Tom Herman has been under scrutiny over the years as he's been involved with some controversy while at Texas. He mocked Drew Locke at the 2017 Texas Bowl and he ran onto the field looking ready to fight Oklahoma State coach Mike Gundy back in 2018. The most striking moment came when Herman was caught giving two middle fingers to a Longhorn Network camera mounted inside the coaching staff meeting room on National Signing Day. Herman then later came out and said he was just telling a story about some Oklahoma fan, but very few people bought that explanation from him. There are also a lot of reports out there that some players don't get along with Herman. They don't really like his coaching style, and many aren't really too fond of him as a man overall. Tom Herman is under contract through the 2024 season, so Texas will still owe him about $15 million to buy out the last three years of his contract. The Longhorns will owe about another $10 million to buy out the remaining contracts for his assistants, which are guaranteed multi-year deals. In May of 2019, Texas approved a two-year extension for Herman that ran through the 2023 season. The last two years of the deal would have paid Herman $6.5 million and $6.75 million. So what are your thoughts on Texas deciding to part ways with Tom Herman? Do you think it was the right decision, or do you think he deserved at least one more year to try and get Texas over the hump? Personally, I think he needed another year. This was a weird, crazy year in 2020. He did go seven and three. He did have a close, thrilling game against Oklahoma that they could have won. That Iowa State game, that was a really close one that Texas could have won as well. And TCU, they only lost by two points. Now, I'm not saying Texas could have finished the season undefeated, but had a few things gone their way, they easily could have been in the Big 12 title game, and they very well could have been competing for a college football playoff. Now, back in 2018, Texas looked great. 2019, it was a disappointing year, but in 2020, again, given the circumstances, I thought Texas had an okay year. I thought they had an above average year. I would have given him one final chance. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, the reports are that Steve Sarkeesian is going to be the next head coach, but I just saw a tweet from David Pollock saying Sark has reportedly turned down the job. So at the time of this video, it's, you know, 1030 a.m. on the West Coast. Uh, Steve Sarkeesian looks like he's going to be the head coach, but if something comes out later today, later in the week, that he's not going to be the head coach, well, scratch everything that I'm saying about Steve Sarkeesian. But in the event he is named the next head coach of Texas, what are your guys' thoughts on that decision? Do you think Sark is the right guy for the job, or do you think Texas should go another direction? Whatever your thoughts are on this entire situation, drop a comment down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. I'm going to be posting a ton of college football content all offseason, so if you're a college football fan, this is definitely the place for you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.